Okay, since Steam released a few months ago for Mac OS X, you've been able to play a lot of games that Steam have released. Though you can't actually play a lot of other games, mostly because no one's released a Mac port for them yet. However, if you own a couple of games on Steam from before, say, 2007, it's not actually that hard to get them to work. Uh, I gotta warn you, this won't work for every game. So don't go buying any games, because I cannot promise that they'll work. Uh, games with the Unreal 3 engine, for example, just don't work, and online games won't work either. But um, anyway, so what you do is you download the Flax Steam zip there, uh, which I'll give you a link to somewhere, I'm sure. And from there on, you find all these things. Now, target there will be your game in the end. Uh, Steam DLL is there, something that you need to move in. That's the Steam client for OS X. Uh, and this is an engine for your game to work. So first of all, you might as well install this. Now, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. But simply double click that and follow the instructions. It's very simple. Then you might as well open Steam and download whatever game it is. Now this is the PC client for Steam, so this isn't the Mac version. Uh, this is kind of... it's using Wine, which is basically a version of Windows. Not exactly, now it's a letter of extraction, but whatever. Anyway, it's the Windows version of Steam, and it'll let you download Mac, uh, Windows versions of games. You know, like Deus Ex, or Psychonauts, or what not. So, um, the UI looks a bit screwed up, mostly because it's not a perfect port, but it doesn't matter all that much, provided you have a Steam account and games, you should be able to find your way around it not to, in a fairly easy way. Now, as you can see, it's not the most stable thing in the world either. Let's just give it a second. Alright, so now here are all these lovely games that I have on my account. Um, and basically, if you know your way around Steam at all, you can follow the instructions here. So you click a game that I don't have downloaded, just hit install and wait the however long it takes to download. And, you know, it's it's very simple, very easy stuff. So, I already have Deus Ex and Psychonauts downloaded here, so I'm just going to go with one of those. Probably Deus Ex, because it's smaller. So I'm going to close this. Um, then, oh yes, you right-click here and click Show Package Contents. Um, it shows what's inside the, the program, really. Then you go Contents, Root, Drive C, Program Files, Steam, uh, Steam Apps, I think. Steam Apps, common. And there will be your games once you've downloaded them. Um, it's a bit, it's not the easiest thing in the world to find, but I have it in writing anyway, so I'm sure you'll figure your way out. So, you have your game here, and you go to Target, you right click and show package contents again. Contents, root, drive C, program files, and you can throw it in there. So I'm going to move Deus X here because it's a small game. Like that. So, very simple. I can simply move that out of there. Now, if I were to open this now, it wouldn't actually run because it requires Steam. However, you can't actually play it through Steam. There are some bugs in the way this is done, so you have to emulate Steam. This breaks the Steam EULA, uh, so be wary of that. Anyway, you simply move the DLLs from Steam DLLs to the games folder, like so. Very simple. My mistake. You simply move it to that folder there. System. The folder which has the main exe, which in this case I think is deus x.exe, 
like that. That's your game folder. That's the important folder. So that's the one you'll be working with. Anyway, once you've moved those DLLs in, you open info.plist here. Now, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to open it straight away without the developer tools installed, but I'm just going to pretend it is. Then you change this path here to the path of the folder to the game folder basically. So that'll be Deus X forward slash system. So from there. Now it's from the drive C perspective, so it's program file is Deus X. Um, case is important here, so be careful of that. And then the next line is simply the line of the exe, which in this case is dsx.exe. Then you can save that. There are some more optional things here, like changing the name and preferences and other things like that. I will go through that in the actual text tutorial. But simply edit that, save it, close it. And congratulations, that's your game. So you can open this now, and with any luck, it'll run. Fingers crossed. Well. Yes. Success. Alright then. So good luck. And again, be wary, this will not work with every game.